Who and who are you? Yeah. See, Sully? Yes. Yes. This. Sexual Jew is in Gay Pride. <laughs> Gay Pride. I'm at Cobbs tonight, Saturday, Sunday. I love life. I love this station. I love everything. This Life's is the great. kind the of Yankees guest. The Yankees are in town. Yes. This, I want, is, this oh, is the kind of guest we want in the studio. <laughs> this is Richard Lewis. Matter. I dedicated my life to the arts. I have no sperm left. I have no children. I'm married <laughs> two years. Uh, Catch a Rising Star starts in six weeks. It's the darkest comedy on television. I'm proud to be on it. That's it. I'm at Cobb's. 18 more shows. The guy is raping me financially. But I love your show. This is the last radio show I'm going to do in about three weeks. I live for this. I dreamt of this show. Uh, And where am I? (laughs) I'm born. I'm going to be 60 soon. It's a nightmare. (laughs) Nightmare. It's absolutely unbelievable. The Ten Commandments broke out on my testicles. (laughs) You are are on the bone, Richard. (laughs) The bone. <laughs> Thank yes. you, Sully. I know I'm on the bone. It's a great <laughs> station. You guys are great. Sully, unfortunately, has no sense of humor, never laughs. <laughs> I feel like I'm on, uh, the, uh, on a Pirates of the Caribbean ride with a, uh, with a drunk mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Lewis, who was playing at Cobbs. Tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. That's it. That's it. It's, uh, you know where it is. It's Gay Pride. There's going to be, and no one's allowed to sit and stand on the table and sing hot, hot, hot. That's all I ask. <laughs> You know, I, he opened for me once in, in, San, in the Sands Hotel. The guy who sang hot, hot, hot. He I, opened for you, really? Well, so did Richie Havens, and so did. Uh, do you want me to start listening? No, 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 that's <laughs> fine. I'm just uh, so this guy I've been opened doing it for you. Yeah, but he sang hot, hot, hot. It was a huge hit. Yeah. He opened it with it. He closed with it. He went through the audience singing it. <laughs> and I was one. And if, I'm, I'm glad we closed because if he would have sang one more time, I would have become a Klansman. <laughs> 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 no, so I've got to ask you. Now, uh, I am a How big dare fan. you ask me questions on the radio show. I am a big fan of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Great show, all ad lib. Six seasons starts in six weeks. Okay, so the uh, the, the show it, it's all ad lib. Totally. Uh, are you that close of a friend with Larry David? No, since I'm 12, went to camp with him. Hated his guts. He was annoying. I met him 20 <laughs> years later, 15 years later, as young comics. Had no idea that he was the same jerk. I knew him at 12. We bought, it was like a billion to one shot. It was like a lottery thing. <laughs> I said, you scare me, man. Something about you annoys me. He says, well, come on. Because we were best friends. Yeah. And then we, we chased our childhood, and lo and behold, there we were. We were at that same sports camp when we were 11. <laughs> wow, he was so annoying. Yeah. I used to beat him. I used to push him. I had fist fights with him. He was like Larry David at 11, you can imagine. A gangly <laughs> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so the the new season, uh, when it when airs... It He's not it, an idiot. He's a genius, actually. Is, is it going to be is it going to be as as dark as the last? I know seasons? the whole arc. Obviously, it's uh, I'm in it. I'm all over it this year, thankfully, and uh, thanks to him, it's the darkest, most political, hottest, most sexual <laughs> sh- uh, 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 of, of the lot. I hope it's not his last year, but man, I am really proud to be in it. The uh, the my favorite episode was the uh, kidney episode. When you're lying there in the hospital and the baseball that was signed. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. You know, Deborah Winger, I, was a, I mean, I know her for a long time. When, after Urban Cowgirl, I went out with her for about a minute. Or out, Urban Cowboy, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. But uh, she's a friend. I mean, but she lives in, on the East Coast. But we're, not, we're friends now. But, I mean, back, this is like, you know, 25 years ago, whatever. Yeah. But she emailed me and said that when I walked in the hospital, and she's won three Oscar nominations. So yeah. She, to have it, I mean, I'm, this is a boast, but she says it was one, some of the best acting. And I, I dropped 15 pounds for that one 20 second shot. <laughs> and I had the makeup artist make me look like Scrooge on acid. You know, <laughs> <laughs> even Larry freaked out when he saw it. <laughs> but you know, uh, you know, it's a, it's 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 a great show. It, you know, it's, a, it's sort of amazing that he co-created that iconic Seinfeld show. Yeah. And then he, he tops it in a lot of ways. It's like Seinfeld unplugged, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Know? No, it is There's no show like it, that's for sure. So, uh, now how are you doing personally? You're doing well? Sonny, your business number one. <laughs> start with that. Number two, a man who dresses like you. <laughs> look like Arnold Parnham's lover back in the 50s. <laughs> Sitting next to the, uh, Arnold Palmer's the ca- lover. The Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> who drank too much rum. Arnold Palmer, if he was gay, which he's not, <laughs> which I don't care. It's gay pride. And by the way, all you homosexuals, God bless you. Uh-huh. I'm not gay. If I was, I'd be dancing in the streets too. But just don't <laughs> dance while I'm on stage <laughs> in the club. Because I take my I take my art form very seriously. <laughs> Saw that Carnegie Hall. 
Yeah. 18, 20 years ago. I really, I've been doing this a long time, and I'm going to be 60, so have some respect. <laughs> there was a huge gay crowd in the audience last night. We had a blast, man. Yeah. I can't, you know, there's so much gay bashing, and there's so much anti-Semitism in, yeah. uh, in this country. You know, the, you know, the, the uh, you know. Uh, you know, I just, it's, it's hard to tolerate. So, you know, as uh, Sully says, as Sully says. Can't we all get of, along? A no. lot to be proud of, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, if you're gay. To, you know, but I hope there's a time when you can just be gay and not say I'm proud. Yeah. Just be gay and be accepted. Be, you know, this country makes us have to stand on pedestals and, and shout out that we're this and screw you, you know. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong to do it. I'm just saying I wish we could just... Ex- you know, when I was a kid, we used to say America was the melting pot. The great, it's not the great melting pot. You know, it's very, uh, it's very divisive, this country. You know, it's, un, it's, the, it's one of the great countries for potential, but it certainly has a long way to go. Good well, night, everybody. And, and, and that's and my opening. It's funny, so, isn't it? <laughs> as Sully says. Country all get along. <laughs> what, 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 what language is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Low <laughs> co- you need a loan? You say? <laughs> what country needs a loan? <laughs> I said, can't we all? No, it can't. Get hey, can't as an right You're not allowed to say that anymore. Teeth, but it does, hey, <laughs> you would be better if you took the teeth out. Because <laughs> and by the way, you need a cleaning. But this is. <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I have two shows tonight: two Saturday, one Sunday at Cobb's. And don't tell the address of the number. They don't know how to find it by now. It's an institution. <laughs> yes. Crying yeah. out loud! It's a great nightclub. You know how often I'm, and I'm going to be sixty. When I before I leave here, so <laughs> I could drop dead any minute now. So you gotta, you know, even though it's a big time, big time. So you drive in, <laughs> drive in, come <laughs> see me for an hour. Have some, have a, the, the food's pretty good for a comedy club. <laughs> really, really? Really, really, really. Most comedy clubs, you know, the Shecky Green Tour Salad. You know, you really want to <laughs> stay away from. <laughs> but you know, but so it's a great club. I've been playing Cobbs, the original one, for almost 22, 23 years. This is beautiful. <laughs> and, you know, I, and this is one of the greatest cities in the world. And it's, gonna, it's an exciting weekend. Uh, and it's a great weekend. Uh, and I understand the Yankees are in town, too. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the Yankee farm team is playing. <laughs> and uh, they decided to do gay pride uh, in L.A. instead of San Francisco. So there's plenty of things not to do <coughs> except come to Cobbs. <laughs> All right. I'm hey. sorry for plugging. I was just teasing it. Uh, yeah. uh, we're, hey, Can I have some corn on the cob? <laughs> we're, just, we're just happy you're here. <laughs> yes. Seriously, it comes in in a good mood. <laughs> this is the, probably the best mood I've... Good mood's my last show. <laughs> 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 this is the best mood I've seen you in since you've been coming on you our show. You know why? Because once you get my age, uh-huh. and you realize and you see like it's coming to an end, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm so fearless. And I so don't care. I, have a, I, 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 I like it. I live in the moment. I got a great wife. I got a couple of great friends, a few relatives I love, and the rest can bite me. <laughs> <laughs> the world's in chaos. The, 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 you know, the, you know, the politics, you know, I don't know what you even are, but, you know, it's a nightmare. Armageddon, if people want to believe in that, <laughs> in those myths, then they're making Armageddon happen. This administration has pushed it up about 5,000 years. <laughs> so, you know, uh, it's a joke. I mean, I can't wait for the election. I can't, it's going to be exciting to watch the debates. It's all good. You know, you know, Richard, you should run for president. Huh? You, you should run for president. I should just run away from myself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me what to do with <laughs> my life. I'm going to be 60 years old. I'm like, I can open my eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> I have more things sagging now. I'm not talking about the other thing. I'm talking my, under my arms, my neck. i got a chicken neck now. Everything blows, but I don't care. I just care about the audience tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Richard Lewis and Cobbs, always a treat to see you. You guys have always been uh, supportive to me. I come in here and I leave. I go, what happened? They don't talk. The guy next to me laughs. He speaks in Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a treat to see you. <laughs> Cobb's Comedy Club, Richard Lewis. Thanks for coming in this morning. That's <laughs> thirty-one. Gonna get the style from my prime. Make it in a rock and roll show. Whoa.